Hi guys, Matt here and welcome to Euro Truck Simulator 2 for episode number one. Today we are actually creating our company. So here we are in the company manager choosing our stuff. So we're going to be choosing this picture because I like that one and I don't know. I don't know about the model but I'm going to go for a Volvo because I like Volvos and then I'm going to have this little flame because I haven't used that and then we're going to call ourselves Horizon Logistics. Uh, EU. Basically, that's it. And there's a reason why I've called it that. It's just different from dessert, really. So let's create and add our steering wheel. This is if you don't know how to do it. So real automatic, basically, you have to switch up by yourself on the thing. And then this always fricks up, right? So the Y axis is the brake. I'm pressing the brake at this point. Throttle. There you go. I've got my Thrustmaster T150 steering wheel installed as well. So that's that. And then for shift up, I use the hat up and hat down there. That's basically the up and down on the D-pad that you get with the wheel. I'm going to go click next and then that's that. And that's the finish wizard thing. And here we go. When it loads. Anyways, hopefully it'll be soon. Okay then, so we have to select a city to start in. We can start in a lot of cities. I mean, there's like a crap ton we can start in. I am from the UK, but I'm not going to start in the UK because I've seen all of this before. Where I really want to start is up here in Scandinavia because this is a part of like the add-ons where I haven't seen. I mean, I've got going east and the Scandinavia. I don't have Vive la France yet and I probably won't get it until later on because apparently pro mods can um, need to get compatible with it so they're going to use assets from that really so I might as well wait so let's normally I start in Sweden but I'm going to be different and just go and, and I don't know where to start I mean there's a lot of cities near here maybe Denmark I could start in um, maybe Germany Germany is the most popular place to start in fact I'm going to start in Germany I'm going to start uh, in Dusseldorf or Dusseldorf, I don't know how you say it. There you go, confirm selection, no tutorial. Don't need that. Oh, here we go. Welcome to Euro Truck Simulator 2. At last, you have the chance to drive, experience your dream job. Driving a truck. Your own transportation companies now want for business, but sadly lack the money to buy a truck. But now you'll have to work for other companies as a driver for hire. Uh, peanut butter to Stokes in Dusseldorf. Uh, employer has provided you with a vehicle and cover all expenses. Arrive on time. Okay then, so now I have everything mapped to what I need and we are going to start up using the E key. Start up twice. Let's hear this engine go. It's in a Volvo Globetrotter, I like that. Right, does this have a built-in sat-nav? Yes it does. Let's go on a, this very short journey. So we need to go that way. I use the left and right most of the time on on the wheel. I mean if you do hear like me turning my steering wheel apologies but I like it like this. In fact, I can, in fact that's too noisy. I can hear it. It's awful. I'll turn me force feedback a little bit on. Stiffness definitely. Um, but that should be a little bit better now. Even though this is going to be even more complicated for me to do. Oh, this is but This is different. I like this. Right, let's go. Let's go. Look at this game, though. Oh, I love. I love the sound. I love the sound of that. It's fantastic. Literally, we're just going next door. That's all we're doing. Going next door. That was a useless trip. Oh, now I've just overshot the thing. All right, enter. All right, let's. Um, we're playing it safe. Right, where is it? Where is it? Really? That's not playing it safe all around. I'm backing up again. Back up a little bit. Right, and then I could just look around here. There you go. Just turn right. Right in here. Not right as in right, but you catch my drift, hopefully. Turn those off. Those are annoying. It's right to go left with the trailer in the mirror. I'm 
right up against the thing. This is irritating me. Full. Come on. Oh, screwed this up badly. Drive forward. The thing is, if you screw things up, then you can just drive forward at this point. This should go perfect. This should be perfect. I'm not even joking. This should be actually perfect. Come on, be perfect. Be no, it's not going to be perfect, but okay, I can deal with this. Oh, it is. That's not even perfect. Look at that. Look at that. Would you accept that? Apparently, the game does. So <laughs> I'll take it. I mean, I'll I'll take it. I don't care. Ah, lovely. Right there, you go. Right, so apparently this is our headquarters. Just skipping all this text. It's pointless reading it. Okay then. Time for our first job of the episode then. Only can go from Dusseldorf at the moment. Uh, ideally, I'd like a route where there's actual cities. I can. There's a number of cities I can drive to. No. I think I can only get direct route. But here we can pass. Um, oh, Duisburg. And then we pass Dortmund, and then we get we go to Castle. Osnabrück is just like Duisburg, and then Osnabrück, obviously. We're going to go to Castle in a Globetrotter. Let's take this job. Getting 3k out of this job. Wow, we're in a Volvo Globetrotter again with Stokes. I don't have any mods. I will get them. It's okay. I will actually get some mods for this, because the real company logos is just one of my favourites. Along with uh, Jazzy Cats trailer mods as well as AI traffic and such. I mean, there's a load of trailer mods out there by Jazzy Cat, Chris45. Definitely. And some others, but some of them are actually pretty bad. If it gives you like standalone trailers, then they may be okay. Definitely Jazzy Cat is recommended and Chris45 as well because those trailers look great. And you can run with both of those mods together to give you like a Oh wait, I don't even know. I don't even know where I'm going 50. Hang on. I'm going 50k. Right, hang on. There we go. Right. There we go. So yeah, you can run both of those mods together and then you can you can like have so much more variety in the actual trailers that you get because the default trailers are just pretty standard and sometimes you get bored of them. So I mean why wouldn't you get the trailer packs? I mean, I'm trying to concentrate here, so apologies if I'm not really speaking much. Because this is in kilometres, which I obviously am not familiar with at all. Being in uh, the UK, we use miles an hour, not kilometres an hour. But that wasn't too bad of a guess. Let's take a look at the truck. Look at that. Look at that. It's green. I I'm not a fan of the green. Maybe a lighter green, maybe just a, like a better colour perhaps. It's okay. This game runs super smooth on my PC. It's just fantastic. I love it. Absolutely love it. And the best thing is, is that before I used to run it on my laptop, so it used to be really, really slow. Not as smooth as this. That's that's for certain. And yeah, it was just pretty stressful. And then I was like, why not just get a PC, a desktop PC that can run it instead? And, yeah, this is how I'm making the video as well, using the gaming PC, not the laptop, because the laptop's standard. It doesn't have, the processor's not good enough on a laptop. I'll be honest, this, this has a retarder. Oh, I've missed this game so much. I've been playing, like, a, a load of American Truck Simulator. Is that over the line? And you get those mirrors as well, which is fantastic. I'm actually over the line. Oh, no, I'm bang on it, never mind. So, yeah, I've been playing a lot of American Truck Sim, and I just missed the European-style roads. Just Europe in general. I mean, you can't turn right on uh, red in Europe, but that doesn't matter. I just love the style of the cabs. Because I see them day in, day out. Right, what's actually 50 miles an hour in kilometres? This is going to be difficult. I should have put it in kph, because a kph speed, or is this it? No, that's not it. That's about 80, then. If 60 is about 30... This is about, that's 40, that's about 50. I'll have to slow down anyway. 
Use of retarders. I love it. Just make you stop so much quicker. You can break later and then... You can also, like, have the retarder do, like, a bunch of stuff for you. So slow you, like, right down. That mirror. That mirror is very useful as well. That's on the, uh, near the traffic light. The, uh, little mirror that shows the front of the truck. So you can actually stop on the line. And get away with it. But yeah. That's that useful feature on standard trucks in the European truck sim anyways I don't know if well I mean, I mean some of them on American truck may have them but from what, like the custom jobs that I've done like the quick jobs then they're not really that widely used which is a bit of a shame because they are actually so useful and also like the European like continent is a lot less how to put it, it's, it, it's it's not as big as America is. So there's not vast open roads. There's not, like, desert for miles on end with a road in the middle. There's just, like, green everywhere here in Europe. It's it's really good. I have to say that. Oh, traffic lights. I hate traffic lights on roads like these. Actually, I should have checked the map. Oh, I missed Duisburg. No, I could have popped in there and discovered it. It doesn't matter. Um, we can pop through Dortmund, actually. Go here, and then out that way. So we get these two discoverables, which I presume is... One of them will be definitely a dealer, and another one will be a recruitment agency. If there's two, I can I can tell which one I'll um, discover. Ooh, we can go this way. Three discoverables on the route. Which is good. We need that. We need to discover as many cities as we can. Break, please! AI! I blame myself. That was an idiot. That was an idiot crashing into the back of a truck, I'm sorry. What? No, I've just shunted him forward so much he can go. My fault. I thought I was slowing down enough. Clearly I wasn't. <laughs> well, that's the first crash of the episode. I'm not normally this bad. I mean, in American Truck Sim, I, c I don't crash often. That was totally my fault. It really was. I still have my retarder on, what the heck? It didn't even pop up. If it did, I was blind to it. Oh, I love that cell plan trailer. The colour scheme. I just love it so much. It's fantastic. So then, so since we're on kind of a flat bit of road and I kind of know where I'm going, Time to talk about the channel a little bit. Of course, some of you may have seen uh, my video regarding the um, the change to the channel. I need to break here. If you didn't watch my end of 2016 like video or whatever, like uh, year in review 2016, then uh, a link will be in the de the description or on as a card. So. You can watch it if you haven't already. Why are we going so slow? Why are we going like literally two mile an hour? Oh, it's this. It's that tanker up ahead. God's sake. I'm gonna end up right. This car could actually close up to um. Oh, hang on. Mouse is. Mouse mat's getting out of position. But yeah, just getting sidetracked as always by this game. Um, end of 2016 video was actually put out and I said what I was going to do with it in 2017 and uh, this is one of the things that I'm doing with it is going to a PC gaming market really I'm doing PC gaming because one it's easier for me recording wise because if I record on my PS4 I don't have an actual capture card so it's a bit of a faff trying to get one getting a computer or whatever to hook it up to and then press record it's just a bit of a faff so that's why I, stre I stream to like YouTube or Twitch I mean I do it to YouTube for the PS4 stuff because Twitch was being an absolute pain uh, because apparently I did a stream on F1 2016 I know this from uh, Mexico I think it was like for people who've watched it it's that time that I said oh Mexico's beaten that like, I couldn't get Mexico because of like Twitch deleting it it doesn't save properly. It really doesn't save properly, and that's the reason I'm kind of like moving over. Oh my god, there's a car coming up me inside. 
So I'm moving it over to PC. It's just recording. There's many things I can gain from it. Number one, it's so very simple. Um, I can just like fire up OBS, a free recording tool, and then I can edit it on my computer, and I can record at 30 FPS. Because before I used to have to save the um, the whole video file as 30 FPS before I edited it. Otherwise, it just like hit film doesn't like it when uh, you have like a 29 FPS video file and you're making a th and you want it to be like 30 FPS. It downloads. I mean, the downloads are only like 29 FPS anyway. But what's the point of doing that when I can just like do it from a PC? For like half the time spent on it, I don't have to spend as much editing. For for example, because one, it's games like this where I'm talking forever don't take much editing. Oh god, I'm in neutral. Don't take much editing, and I can just pop them out whenever straight away. I don't have to like fire up a different like PC or whatever just to edit it because that's what I did with my laptop. I never had a PC before, so that's that's the reason. So it's just why why wouldn't you? Oh, man truck dealer discovered. I like man trucks. I mean, I've driven one. They're pretty cool. Oh dear. Why is the why is the sat nav spazzed out and said to go straight on? I'm speeding here a little bit. Retard it. Brake, please. Brake. Thank you. Oh, I can't see the lights now. So yeah, that's the main reason. Stokes trailer. I love it so much. So that's why I've moved it over. Plus it was just like a better thing to do. Something I enjoy more. I mean, I don't play like F1 2016. I don't play F1 games as much as what I used to. I was a massive fan of them when I started. That's why I did it. But something I'm not interested in anymore as much as what I was before, so switching it over to Sims because I do play a lot of simulators outside. Especially this and American Truck Simulator. Play both of those. Why not do videos on them on them? Because the simulator market is obviously a growing thing. It's starting to become more popular. So why not? I'm speeding again. Yeah, so why not do stuff like that? Makes sense, really. Do something that you like and, and do something that's kind of like a growing market. Don't target a mass market, necessarily. It doesn't really work that well. I mean, sometimes it might. Sometimes it depends, like, how your awareness is, I suppose. But I'm not going to go into too much detail about that, because it, like, it'll bore half of you, probably. So I won't do that. So going with the channel, I'm doing simulator games. Hopefully, I've only tested this in American Truck. I've tested American Truck, so I know that Euro Truck will work. So I'll test other games, such as The Long Dark, which is a very good survival game, by the way. Uh, Transport Fever, that's another good one. And Bus Simulator 16. I'll test those, and then we'll see. We'll see if they work. If they work well, then I'll be it. I'll put them on the channel. It's simple. Gives me something a little bit more to do. And also, the editing stays kind of brief and doesn't take too long. Really, because I've been spent... Like F1 2016, it just takes too much time to edit. I can tell you for why it does, and a lot of you will probably say, oh, why does it take so long, and, like, if you do F1 on YouTube or whatever, if you're, like, a F fellow F1 YouTuber, like I was, then you'll probably kind of understand. The thing is, with F1, if you do a 50% race, it's not, you can't just, like, upload the full race, because that's just an, over an hour. No one wants to watch the boring bits, you have to go through, Remember like where all the boring bits were take them out Then you've got to 
put transitions in if you if you want to be like that. I mean, it, I think it works fine without any, but like it's just cut, like cutting from one thing to another. It doesn't look visually pleasing at all. Transitions are the best way to go with that. And then you have to put replay cameras in if you're using them. And then if you're not doing live com, you have to put post com over it. So some of you guys may have been from like the start of the channel. If you have, thank you very much for your loyal support. And you'll probably remember me doing F1 videos in the early days. I mean, F1 2015, for example, I did live comms. And now I've started doing post comms for F1. I mean, it carried the live com carried through just till F1 2016, but then I've just decided, you know what, I think it's a bit easier just to do it post com, and it kind of is. It really is, because you don't have to keep thinking of things to say all the time. And it's just better anyway, because you highlight the footage first, get rid of all the boring bits, and then you're just left with like a, a 10 to 20 minute video to live com over. Well, post com, sorry, over. Yeah, it's it's very good. I like it like that. It's just a lot better, in my opinion. Post com obviously has more work because uh, you have your separate audio file, which is fine. Because why wouldn't you have a separate audio file for your commentary anyway? Who wants it actually part of the gameplay? I mean, you can to toggle the volume for like the gameplay. Which is fine. That gives you more control if you do it post com. So, yeah, that, that's what that's where I started to go with that. How have I got onto this? I can't even remember anymore. Uh, yeah. So, post com. So, in fact, I'm doing this live com, but I'm recording my audio separately, which uh, doesn't require me to turn down the game settings at all in terms of volume. Only, I'll do I'll do that only in the um, in the software itself. In the editing software hit film i hate this road it's too slow i mean 38 is just it feels a bit too slow for this type of road i mean i know why it's 37 it's a twisty road look at this look at the traffic jam kind of mercedes truck i don't know that's a bus that's a car and there's another car behind that it's a bit too slow how far what we are actually speeding by one mile an hour that's it 33 minutes, oh wow, I've managed to, how have I managed to do that? Oh my god, this is going on half an hour as well. Oh, this is going to be a fun video. So yeah, that was that. Um, what else do I want to talk about? I mean, just the future of this series. I thought, I think I should like talk about the series a little bit more. Um, maybe in this one and the next one. But just to say that I will be adding mods to it. I mean, there's some on the Steam Workshop. There's some that I'll have to download from a website and put into the game. I mean, J Jazzy Cat, Trailer, AI, Packs, Bus Packs, stuff like that. They take... Uh, well, they don't really take anything. They're just like... Take, they, you need to be like on a website. They're not available through the Steam Workshop, which is a bit of a shame. Some mods in the Steam Workshop are very good, I'll be honest. But for the best ones you have to go to a website. Also I will be installing Pro Mods at some point on this. Because like Pro Mods just adds a whole bunch of new like countries and towns and cities and roads, just like loads of new stuff. Because Pro Mods is massive. I'm not even kidding. For now, um, I'll stick to the current map. Probably not for long times, but if this is like a, a regular series, then yeah, I will actually put the map in, uh, put pro mods in. Because there's no point. If, I, if, if, if this is not a regular series, what's the point of actually putting pro mods in if it's going to like change by the next time I record I mean it's only the next version of Euro Truck but they come like pretty quickly sometimes I'm not on simulators all the time sometimes it's felt too quick sometimes I'm playing on it and I'm like 
Oh wait. Oh, that's a that's a curb. I'm like, oh wait. I like to go on Euro Truck today. Oh wait, there's an update, and I have to wait for the update, and then that just like halts the progress and everything. So yeah, that's the only thing really. But I know this Rust map. I've seen that. I mean, you can combine it with Pro Mods, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. I know that TSM... Is it TSM? Yeah, it's TSM and Pro Mods. They don't work. I mean, TSM's just like a... a budget version of a map extension because they're not like Pro Mods where they just want, like, fine details. Sometimes it's just like... How to put this? It's just... It's not to the standard Pro Mods is, so it's either you go for a map that gives you, like, a lot more countries, because they're known for, like, Africa. So, you've got those countries that you don't have in Pro Mods. But Pro Mods is just, like, a higher quality map. It's optimised, alright. Plus, Barcelona is a good city. That's just, like, it's spot on. I love it. I need to change the, uh, hang on. So, so I don't have to keep going into the thing all the time. Is it gameplay? Oh, it's like, uh, parking difficulty safe. There you go. S safe and skilled. Right, so I don't have to keep like, pressing the thing. It's annoying. If, if I have to do that every episode. Right, where are we going? Oh, we're going here. So I'll just get in the gate. Just go this way. Alright, I wish that thing had stop popping up. It's annoying. Um... Here we go. Come on. That's it. And then just reverse slightly. I like it how in this game you have to be somewhat skilled for parking. Oh my god, I've just screwed that up completely. Right, hang on, I'll reverse like up here. I am really bad at parking in this game. I mean, I haven't seen this drop-off -up drop point before, unless I have. Looks really good. I like it. I like the construction materials here and stuff. Looks a bit more lived in and realistic. There you go. There you go. There you go. Put it in neutral. There you go. Job near enough. Completed. Perfectly. Near enough. Let's go inside the truck. I love the inside of this truck, by the way. We've got a careerist 2 of 5. We're level 1. Long distance is the best thing to do, so there you go, I'll click apply. And that's it for this episode, guys. That was episode number one done. We've got 5,151 euros in the bank for Horizon Logistics EU. Next time out, we'll be taking another job. So let's see what jobs are available. We can go from Dortmund to Hanover. To Bremen, which I think is the more attractive one. Oh, when I get like a six. For, um, like one of those trucks with like double axles on the back, I love that. <gasps> Scania to Osnabrück, Liège, so we go past Cologne from Dortmund in a DAF, um, Liège, uh, don't like some of these jobs, I really don't. Go on, we just, we just go back to Castle again. Oh, this one, this one's interesting. Ooh, might go to Bremen in the next episode, guys. Well, that's going to be it from me. Until the next video, everyone, take care.